Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to cover something that I found over the weekend, which was really interesting. So, Season 1 Pass is now officially available in Second Encore, but I don't play Second Encore, I only play strictly Skullgirls Mobile. But, you know, there are some major changes and there was some cool stuff. Now, I thought that was it's just gonna be like any balance patch, right? Nothing much, nothing that we as mobile players should care. But there was one little thing that caught me, caught my interest. So he, this is the post. It was up, um, uploaded on Friday, like three days ago, by Liam, which is a hidden variable developer. So yeah, so this just shows that hidden variable is like very um, what what's the word? They're very involved in, in Skullgirls as a whole now, like the franchise as a whole, not just the mobile, but also in the second encore. So there's some major changes and then some small changes between the characters and I'm guessing this is balancing patch as well. Um, this doesn't really relate to us if we play Skullgirls Mobile, but there's one thing down here which really attracted my attention. So Sekhmet have received some big changes. And Sekhmet no longer drains meter over time when attacking, instead she drains life over time and loses chunks of health when using attacks. So Sekhmet in this second encore now is a bit more risky, kind of like Fuqua in mobile, when when she um, releases her clone, her health decreases over time by a bit, so it's kind of like that. And you're um, expected to keep hitting the opponent during Sekhmet mode to prevent that life drain from um, ramping up. So that's, that's just like a minor thing that may not have anything to do with us. Um, Sakmath can now backflip to safety during any normal that makes contact. Oh, that's pretty cool. So she can now backdash. Has a new level 1 supers. Oh, there. Okay, so there's a new level 1 super that performs a jumping hit grab knack by crumpling the opponent, cre creating blood and healing for the damage dealt. It also repositions the anchor nearby so she can convert into Eliza combos even if she was far from the anchor previously. So a new super is always cool because those blockbusters can translate well into mobile. We have three segment blockbusters and two of them are kind of similar. Only Axe is really worthwhile using honestly. So having a new one that could um, translate to mobile would be really cool. But the main point of this video is this blood mechanic. So any segment attack involving her red blood weapons creates blood if it hits a character which flies somewhere behind them. Blood can go off camera but not off stage. Only 25 blood, blood drops can be out at once and each one lasts for 15 seconds. Collecting a blood drop restores 200 health to Eliza. To make a lot of blood to create health positive combos and at the cost of damage and green means. Eliza's taunt, taunt pulls all blood in front of her for easy collection as long as within some range. All other taunt effects are removed. Now this is really really cool because Eliza as a character was always um, envisioned to have like some kind of blood mechanic. So I have this... Um... So Eliza was a d DLC character that people can vote to be in the game and she did win. But during her teaser period, they were actually promoting her to have this blood mechanic. They were he, She was always envisioned to be able to control blood. So this was a prototype on how it was envisioned to work. So misfortune here is the Eliza, so pay attention to what happens. Yeah, so basically, if you get hit, you can um, give blood out in the floor, and you can use that blood to attack the opponent in retaliation. So that was the, the mechanic that was envisioned at that time, but it was scrapped because I don't actually know why, but it got scrapped and now we only have the Sackmat transformation until this update that I just showed you before. So they now have 
a blood mechanic, but it doesn't work the same. So this is how it works now. So I'll just I'm gonna show you. Beautiful. Okay, so let's break that down a bit. So Eliza attacks with Sekhmet and it gives blood. So you gotta use Sekhmet to attack the opponent and that's how you get blood. So it's actually the opponent's blood and not ours this time. So this is, I'm guessing, the new blockbuster for Sekhmet where she just jumps on the opponent and bites them. Yep, and that gives up blood as well. Now this is Eliza's taunt here, and you can see the blood's gonna like go over to her, beautiful. like that. That's actually really really interesting. So you, not only can you collect the blood just by like dashing back and forth near the blood, but you can also use the taunt to recollect all the blood to herself automatically. And I think this as a mechanic could actually translate well into the mobile version. The taunt that we have in mobile gives re regen, so if we just get rid of that and make it blood to gain health based on blood, that would actually be better because regen is a buff which can get countered by cursed, but if it's blood mechanic, that can't really be countered by anything, so that would always be available. Okay, so let's go to actual sc mo Skullgirls mobile content. So Eliza as a character has always been odd for me because her trait is that she evolves into um, Sekma through the use of a blockbuster, so though that is her like main thing. But her markability is kind of odd for me because it requires her teammates to be our teammates to be defeated to gain health and meter, which is really weird. But I guess you could argue it's some kind of sacrificial the thematic to fit into her like mummy curse thing. So you could argue that. But even her, her, most of her variants, they activate effects when you use a blockbuster. It always have something to do with either health or meter. Like, it's always those two, which I feel like is a bit too generic for me. Because, I don't know, you got this whole concept of like, a mummy transformation, blood character. And then all she does is like, gain meter, inflict buffs, gain debuffs. It's, it's just... It's just a bit gen generic for me. And her kit is quite diverse, honestly. She does a lot of things, different things. Um, her, Of course, her most notable one is buff removal through Chaos Banish and stun through Uppercut. And the Blockbuster segment, like that's all she, people use her for, most, mostly. So, as a character, I've always felt like sh she's not cohesive? Is that a word? Is that a good word to use? I don't know, there's there's something that lacks, that isn't, um, there's some mechanics that doesn't feel that special for her, because the only tra uh, trait that I think about when I hear Eliza is that, oh yes, segment loop through the use of blockbusters. That's all I could think about. The other parts of her kit are, they're very good, don't, don't get me wrong on that, they're very good, but they always felt a bit generic. Oh no, my battery's running low. So yeah, the point that I want to say is that um, imagine if the markability, instead of instead of requiring a teammate to be defeated, which is mo very useless honestly, because you never want to have a teammate defeated in the offense. Well, I guess you can sacrifice a weak teammate for like prize fight and not, but that strategy kind of falls apart at when you're into late game, you kind of want to have a full team, and in Rift Battles, you never want to have a teammate defeated because you got to maximize your points, right? So, imagine if um, this clause gets changed into the blood mechanic. So every time she um, regains her blood, she either regains health or regains meter. Wouldn't that be more cooler? Because I feel like that would be they'll fit her, into her more as a character, and it'll give something really unique and also for the variants we could have like new signature abilities revolving around blood r rather than use a blockbuster to gain this like that's most of what Liza does like bloodbath inflicts bleed when you use a blockbuster red velvet inflicts hex when you use a blockbuster 
Inner pieces gain buffs when you use a blockbuster. Tomb and Gloom, you inflict a debuff when you use a blockbuster. In Denial, you gain some buff when you use a blockbuster. So a lot of Eliza's variants revolves around using a blockbuster to gain A, which is alright, but it's kind of... It lacks a flavor, you know? It lacks something that feels like, oh yeah, that's an Eliza skill. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's only my only uh, gripe, I guess. Like, I really do hope this blood mechanic gets translated into mobile, because that I think that would be really, really cool for Eliza. And actually, it's, there, it's not only Eliza that got a change. I forgot to mention this, but um, Robo Fortune got a bit of change with her systematic circuit breaker. This is the blockbuster in mobile where she becomes this detonation mode. And you've got a few minutes before she explodes, and during those that small window, your attacks are are elevated, so some blockbuster become changes, and yeah, yeah, that's basically it. But in here, I I don't know whether that was a thing already in Second Encore. I'm guessing in here they made it even more powerful, but also more riskier. That's uh, just I got from reading this paragraph. Oh, magnetic floor will ba floor bounce the opponent for a combo opportunity, and she no longer automatically explodes at the end of it. Wait, that's the same thing as mobile. When you use magnetic trap with systemic circuit breaker, it automatically explodes, and you don't get damaged. Okay, so I don't really know what's happening here with Rule of Fortune. I don't know whether it's a big thing or whether it's a small thing, and I don't know whether it it is it already in mobile like this. No idea. But blood mechanic for Eliza definitely not in mobile yet. It's very new, and I think it'll be really, really cool. If it became becomes like her main thing. Cause honestly, like I really don't like her her mark ability. It's so, uh. And I guess to end on this um, video, I just wanna um, mention that if Eliza is getting some changes, I wonder what other characters that we already have that might get changed in the future because this opens up a lot of doors because we thought well i thought that the current character roster right now is they're not going to be touched anymore they're just going to do some balancing tweaks but i didn't expect like a whole new mechanic come into play like that so this is really really exciting um i guess my wish list is philia i think philia as a character needs to get well for the mobile version. Her concept is, is is interesting, you know, like a speedy roguelike leader. She has a lot of speed, which is evident in her movement in the game. It's, you can dash really easily with Philia. Her character ability kind of embodies that, but the, the problem is that her character ability is kind of useless at most times. <laughs> I just hope, like, I don't know. Um, and out of her variants, only Windswept really um, um, uses her evade um, character ability. The other variants is really just a bleeder or support or anything like that. Um, the Born With It taunt is also really weird because I don't know why she gains Enrage instead of like evade. I think evade would have made more sense for Philia. If you actually compare Philia with Pain Wheel and look at the effects of their moves, it's actually quite similar, which is kind of sad. Pain Wheel has a much higher attack and she can also inflict bleed. Not permanent, but still, you know, it's she can still inflict a lot of bleed. So Philia feels just a bit one-sided right now. I wish they buff up her evasive abilities more. Like her murky ability is solid, her, her role as a bleeder is solid, but she lacks that other thing that makes her unique, you know? Because I, I wish her evade abilities got bumped. That's all I really want. I don't really have any problems with the other character. I think they're okay. Although I guess Beowulf and Cerebella, if you compare the two, Cerebella kind of goes over the top while Beowulf is kind of just sitting there. Although Cer Beowulf does have more command grabs. Anyway, I think I'm rambling right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's all I really have to say actually. So I guess my main point is do pay attention to the DLC updates. Um, this is an update for Friday, but I think they're going to do more updates in the future. 
Just because a character received or didn't receive changes, it doesn't mean they're not receiving tuning later for this update. Please note this is not the entire balance patch, this is literally just the first day. So there are things, there are more things to come, and whether or not those are big things, I may or may not cover it, so just do please pay attention to this. It's really exciting to imagine the possibilities, and who knows, maybe we can see some of these updates later in mobile in the roadmap, we're still waiting for that. But yeah, I'm really excited. I hope this means well for mobile. So I'll, I'll post the link on like these, um, these things, so you guys can check them out for yourself. And with that, thanks all, thank you all for watching, and hope to see you in the next video.